Hey everybody, it's Tap Tap. Do you know what time it is? You, you probably do, because you, you probably saw the thumbnail in the title of the video. But it's Epic Battle Fantasy V time, which I didn't even know was quite this close to coming out. Which, I, uh, I haven't checked my email in a week or so, so if you did email me or anything, Matt, sorry, I haven't read it. But yes, Epic Battle Fantasy V is out right now. It has quality options, which I'm so glad there's still quality options. This gives me good memories of, like, <laughs> turning it down to, like, absolute minimum so I could get some, some juicy 15 frames per second on my laptop. Not, not in class. Anyway. Apple Band Fantasy V is out. I speak English. Let's do this. Make couple games. Oh boy. Been a long time coming. Hey, little buddy. Oh, jelly donuts! <laughs> Parker heard me talking about them jelly donuts. Yes! No Legs finally joins the party. Hey, everybody. Hi, Parker. Parker's like, no. My people have legs. We have four legs. I object to this representation. It's okay, Parker. He's a different variety of, of, of cat. He's got just got different numbers of legs. Hi, Parkers. Would you would you not be in the way? Thanks. They gotta describe. I've been noticing a lot of games. Oh, definitely want that. Uh, a lot of games have um, discords, like official Discord links, in the uh, thing. I don't know if that worked. Did that work? Full screen. Woo! All right. Let's not worry about if that worked or not. Oh yes, it's this art style. I love this from um, of Final Fantasy IV. It was like that the, the little like felt stuff. There's, there's Matt and Verona there. Hi, Parker. Parker, I can't read. I can't read. I'm not in a reading the text mood right now. So you can just read. I hope it's not too small on the screen there. I'm not. I. I've been so busy. I'm. That which is probably which is why I haven't read my email in so long. But I'm gonna. I have a whole bunch of backlog stuff to get to. I just need to take a break. Where for like three weeks I just hibernate in a cave and become one with the universe, which I believe is traditionally done while hibernating in a cave. Nondescript Triforce symbol over there. <laughs> Poor No Legs. Will his people never cease the oppression? Hi, Parker. Thanks. It only took me 23 tries. Probably less than I took as a kid on something, so. Oh, broke the TV. Who's playing Wii? Remember that? Remember the 90s? Parker. Parker, I see, seriously, I can't read. I can't read with you here, Park Parker, please calm down. I don't know what his deal is. I was recording something else earlier and he kept doing this. Ah, Parskins, please. Ah, hockey sticks are the finest of weapons. Oh, there we go. Got treasure, delicious treasure. Oh, you have a knife, get the knife. Oh, whatever, it's fine. I don't think you're supposed to just leave cheese out like that. Power's out. <laughs> the power's out, so I'll just play on the computer until it comes back on. Oh. All right, can I get the power, the, 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 yes. Newspaper. You just meet to read prior, it strikes Southern continent, worldwide chaos ensues. Oh, there was socks in my TV. That's, that seems problematic, but okay. Uh, speaking of problematic, there's, I think, gooey skin. Oh, neat! Oh, nuclear blue. I'm gonna leave it on blue for the uh, the classics, uh, even though it kind of hurts my eyes. Isn't there game difficulty? Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it on normal. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Um, Matt was talking about this on Twitter. Um, there's kind of like content filters for stuff. Uh, I actually thought it was really cool. Um, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of games, you know, um, reducing strobing is a pretty common one, fortunately. Um, 
but uh, I haven't seen many games let you kind of filter on the the um, the mature content. Um, Bullet Storm, of all things, it lets you edit that and the violence. I thought that was really cool because like it lets you know it doesn't change your uh, ESRB rating, of course, but um, it still it makes your game more accessible. That, that's always a good thing. So I'm gonna walk around, and you know it it makes it more accessible without you know changing the base game. If you want it, if you want you know. The violence and stuff, you can just click it, or you can just leave it alone. But if you don't, you can just click it off. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw the sneaker room there. Let me get into the sneaker room. Oh, it's it's even cheaper to get into the secret room if you have the uh, if you're using the mouse flare. You need. We're gonna need you to wear some uh, more flare belt buckles. <laughs> RPG characters need a lot of these. They sure do. I'm so used to playing this with the mouse, I kind of forget that it has keyboard controls now. This is on Steam, by the way. It's um, Epic Battle Fantasy has been on Steam for a while. Uh, I assume the first one... Actually, did, did the second one ever come? I know the, the third one is kind of like an enhanced free version. And then Epic Battle Fantasy 4 is on there for pay. Um, I see that gyroid. Um, the first one, and I think to a degree the second one, are very parody heavy and that could probably cause some copyright problems, I assume, is the deal there. Oh, good old huge fireball in the sky. Oh wait, I see, that's just the sun. I haven't seen that in a while. Better be careful out here. He lives in like a tiki shack. Call him Mr. Seagull, that is a giant seagull. Oh, there's little treasure glints. You know, I'm, when I play too much Uncharted or something, I start seeing that little treasure glint everywhere and it stops helping me. Oh, monsters, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat, beat them up. Understood. Hello, friend. I hate when rocks try to fight me. They always lose, but... Weather normal. Oh, right, there's weather effects in this site. It's been... I haven't been on Twitter as much, which might be why I missed the... Uh, um, the... Um, announcement and so forth. But, uh... Matt had a pretty cool, cool devlog of just, you know all the little updates and stuff to the game. I really appreciate when developers do that. It's just nice to see what's going on in the game, see the, the process, see what new features you can be looking forward to. That's where I learned about the uh, the little mature content filter and stuff. Um, I just love seeing the, the care and stuff put into games. Protect. Uh, I don't have Scan Arena. I, like, I miss Scan Arena. It's one of the very few games to do scanning right, in my opinion. Um, well, I don't know about this one, but Epic Battle Fantasy 3 and 4 did. I didn't, I didn't know I could do that. Ah, good old slowing people down. So why still let that foe get away? Wait, I just got a, a dank Chivo called Mercy. I didn't do that on purpose. Is that a frickin' JoJo ref- I mean Undertale reference? Oh no. I feel like this is illegal in several states. I'm sorry, Mr. Seagull, I don't know what I've done. It's got, these, these aren't slimes, they're just taking a nice shampoo. I hate slimes. You can't even eat them. True. What would they even taste like? Would they just be like jello? Oh. I just love that wet is a status effect. Very blatant tutorials. <clears throat> Something I really appreciate is that um, I noticed Matt was very, um, f very much focusing on the user experience of stuff. Um, in when both when porting the uh, the old games to Steam and setting up new stuff for this one, uh, this is something I uh, I think a lot of game devs kind of take for granted or don't really do very well. As you can see in any of my videos talking about like Abyssrium or Food Fantasy, those, um, there's some of that delay for immature humor there, um, that I'm sure that filter is for, um, but yeah, that's something I feel a lot of devs don't really do very well, and if you see my Abyssrium stuff, it's like, those devs don't give a crap about, you know, user experience and stuff, it just really shows, hello, you know, legs, it's the cat that's been stealing my trash. Why does No Legs have so much better equipment than me? 
Oh, yes! <laughs> Always the best music for this. I love uh, Furana's stuff. The boss music is always the best, which is honestly, I think the boss music is always the best in almost any kind of game. I mean, it's supposed to be. I guess I just like high energy music, but just boss music is just, love it. It's also part of the reason that I, I think bullet hell games just tend to have extremely good music, shoot 'em up games in general. Um, Cause they just have very intense music and it really helps you focus to have good music. So I think it's on purpose, but like, Play a lot of famous bullet hell games, you really notice that they just have really great music. It's a plug a related game, I guess. Um, uh, there is in fact an epic battle fantasy uh, bullet hell game, which is actually very accessible and easy to uh, get started with. If you never played like a shoot 'em up or a bullet hell game, uh, Bullet Heaven 1 and 2, uh, very good ones to start with. They have very accessible difficulty modes and uh, not too crazy, except on the max difficulty, which honestly most bullet hell games are. Most people just like play on normal or hard or something, and they just don't like acknowledge that you can credit feed, that there's easy difficulty modes, that you know, some games are very more meant for things. Yes, hello! You've been only interrupted this video like five times in the last ten minutes, so thanks. Thanks for another interruption. Woo! Gyroids, watch us in the distance. I really like this felt style. If you do another spin-off, I would I would love to see felt style everything's. You're here for the cat parts, aren't you? I see your I see your wily ways. You don't care when there's no cats on screen. Quest for revenge. A treasure. I would stream or something, but Mediacom has been giving me so much grief. I didn't even entertain the, the, the thought of streaming this game for one second. I was supposed to stream today, um, because there's an event ending in a game, and I couldn't stream it. Last day of the event, cannot possibly stream any other time. Uh, couldn't do it because of Mediacom. So yeah. So I figure I'll find the first boss or something. And I'll probably keep playing if people are interested. I, um, I was not, I, I didn't, I couldn't decide whether to do like a full let's play or like a, just a quick look or something. I just wanted to make sure I did something. Buckets of water, slime bunnies. Oh, slime bunnies are back. I can explore on my own. Am I giving him the, the, the fur, the, oh no, that's the middle finger. I thought for a second I was flipping him like the, the index finger. Which I'm sure there's some culture where that's an insult. That was a weird one, Parker. What was that? What is what does that express? Hey, buddy. Hmm. You gotta get the shinies. I like items because I'm greedy and obsessed with collecting things. Relatable. Some say it's not an attractive character trait. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Is this where I buy Legos? Lego material. Oh. Materials, I guess. Oh no, now the Lego Corporation is gonna be on me. It's pronounced Lego Bricks. How dare I? Alright, I don't need any of those. Can I steal? I can't steal. <laughs> it's gonna... and using mouse controls for secrets feels a bit like cheating. I guess I got the option to walk around the keyboard. Meow. <laughs> I was just noticing. I was just noting that the. Um, it feels a bit cheaty to be able to just click there and there you go. But oh well. I'm just used to using the mouse for this. Did I don't believe the original games had keyboard. No, or no, they definitely didn't. I think EBF4 was the first one. I think you can do keyboard. Yeah, you know, obviously you can do keyboard controls with Flash. Uh, I just don't remember it being a thing. The on fish smell. I just love filth. Oh, hi, Binding of Isaac Fly. Can I fight the fly? Oh. I keep, I keep looking over at OBS, wondering if I'm dropping frames. That's how bad the streaming experience has been lately. Hello, Mr. Deadfish Man. How are you doing, my friend? Talk to the table. Oh, so many RPGs do that where they get rude, which I guess would make sense. But how you doing, buddy? I just noticed the, like tears streaming into his beard. Why do they have color-coordinated beds? Yo, I want the green bed. Give me the green bed. 
I guess it's more of the sea foam bed. Sneak green. Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Wait, what? Got treasure. Oh, you can put it back? Why would you put it back? Well, I'm just taking this now. What's up, buddy? This is Berg's. Okay. Berg shop. I don't need any Berg's. Every time I say Berg, I see that secret. I, I want to replay, um, what was its name? Crypt Worlds, where you could get Nega Bergs at Mark Donald's. Oh, we've got some, um, Lorax trees, whatever they were called. I'm not sure if it was mentioned before, they would close them anyway, right clicking anyway, I can speed things up a bit. Thank, thanks for the tips, buddy. Hello, Mr. Worm. I love the pointy, like, weird caterpillars. I wish we had them here. We don't seem to get a lot of <laughs> that sneak attack, though. I love something I love the, something that Flash is really good for. Um, the little minor variations in the enemies, like the little... This one's got the kind of buck tooth, this one's the little pointy boys. I love that. Not enough games, chill. That's my favorite status element, is chill. Um, surrender! <laughs> That's adorable! Huh. It's kinda neat. It's so weird how few enemies run. Like, usually only enemies in RPGs that run are like, you know, the thieves that steal your thing and run off with them. Which, by the way, if you do that in a game and they can steal, like, important items, you're a jerk. Good people program them so they only take, like, garbage items. In fact, I, I think I, I forget which game it was, but I think there's at least one game where they can steal like key items. Hello, Mr. Brick. That's that some tail strength right there. Speaking of tail strength, Parker is like objecting to me using the mouse. He's trying to get his tail up under my mouse. Hello, friends. Oh, speaking of Parker, um, my patron's getting very close to the uh, Parker cam goal, where we'll have a camera for Parker in my live streams. So you can see him. As he ruins everything. Yes, you do. Save the hunt, blah, blah. <laughs> I like all the little hints spread throughout the regular dialogue and stuff. Info. Oh, I love bestiaries. Um, all right, I don't. I haven't scanned people yet. Do I? Do I have scan? Blah blah blah. Usually it's Lance that does the scanning. He's got God Cat and not God Cat. Uh, heck Cat. AP, don't have AP. Okay. Give me the gyroid. What is this? Strange clay creature. So mighty old. Okay. Supposed to collect the gyroids, I guess? How, how do? Oh, I see. <laughs> Again, clicking a little bit cheaty, but whatever. Hello, friend. I assume they're either weak to or strong against Earth. It seems like they're weak. <laughs> Would have shaken off his feet if he had any. It's okay, buddy. You try. Um, skill. He's like a multi-hit kind of character. I kind of like when that's a mechanic. In the Toonie games, that was always like a super important thing, actually. Um, a lot of times, hitting more often was way more important than uh, the damage of individual, individual attacks. Um, in Mark II, it was kind of that way to the degree of like being like an oversight, but it was kind of a neat strategy. I want to eat that crab. But <laughs> enemies just explode when they die. Life is full of mysteries. Slightly tickled. I don't want to end the fights because I just want to listen to the music. It's okay, I'll just get the soundtrack. Is the soundtrack on Steam? By the way? I didn't look. I don't wait, let me bring up the store page. Uh, she usually- it's, it'll be on Bandcamp. Yeah, the soundtrack is on Steam too. It's an extra five bucks. You can get it on Bandcamp too, I'm pretty sure. As always, link in the description for the game- where you can buy the game and all that stuff. Um, that's- 
Hopefully expected, but not- people don't always know that. Ice me- ice me that secret. You can't lie to me. I didn't even have to use my mouse to cheat this time. Now, let me- I'll use the little- the d-pad there. There we go. I just got an egg. Alright, summons! Caption monsters. Oh, you capture them to- oh. Because summons, I think, was how you scanned in at least one of them. Wait, can I get this other one too? No, go, go. <laughs> Something I do in this lot is just, you know, there's a lot about getting secrets and stuff. I don't know if you'd want to watch the full thing of me just like looking over for secrets. Hello, friend. I see you. There's got to be some quest where you get all of the ew. Um, all of the, um,. All the little gyroids and bring them home. Hello, Mr. Bat Friend. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, scan! Oh! I'm stupid. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I missed no legs. Oh well. I'll do that on a different save file and like scan. Make sure I scan no legs. I'm not very observant tonight, I see. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get to the first boss. Um, I'm out of it. I, <laughs> I really, I have such a big backlog of stuff to get to. I just, this came out and I was like, I have to play this. So, and that reminds me, I wanted to get back and uh, play a lot of the cool Flash stuff that I never really did videos for. So I was planning to go back and play like EBF one and two. I've got videos, some videos of three. I like started four, but I didn't um, do a ton of it. I don't know. I think quick looks, honestly, more people, more people tend to only view the first video, so I tend to like quick looks. I was trying to convince them to me to collect crap for them. Like me and Aaron Boy. Hello, friends. I heard, heard bad bad my monsters. Blah, blah. You want a dog? Rescue dog. Okay. Rescue dog. Is the dog on that other lady's head a rescue dog? Wait, can I borrow? Can I borrow your dog? By the way, I love the autosave after a battle thing, because I hate, like... In RPGs like this, I'll play for, like, hours. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with all these block puzzles? Poor Matt, it's okay. That was like a... That was like a rules card level puzzle right there. That was some intense stuff. No rescue dog. Roof pig! Most unexpected. Hey! Are you are you a rescue dog? Dog, she's useless. Too pudgy to even walk. Aw, oh, poor doggo. I I knew. I knew the gyroids would be important. I told you. I told you about stairs. Can't go here. I have to get strength. I mean shovel. Hello, friends. I'm just looking for the boss right now. Working like a dog. Lots of dog references here, but no rescue dogs. Why this? Hello, friend. Game run slowly. Yeah, yeah, I know. I say I know, but then I miss, you know, the scan thing. Oh, capture a foe! Oh, so that's what, like, the mercy thing is. If you weaken them enough to, like, capture, I guess? How does this work? Get, get it. Pokemon acquired. <laughs> she even unlocked Slave Trader. Do you want to give it a nickname? Uh, no, nah, that's fine. Oh, so we got Pokemon stuff. Oh no. You can't just do this to my 100% completionist wanting self. Oh well. I guess I'll have to do that in addition to scanning all of the foes, huh? No Legs does not like this. Alright, give. I think you just put a box on him. Oh, fancier box! Chunky Goop. Delightful name. I prefer, like, Thin Goop. Chunky Goop, it's a bit too, uh. well, chunky. Is it like a point to collecting more than one? Enslaved? I like that you still get the stuff if you capture them too. That's, uh, that's something that took Pokemon, like, five 
six generations, I think, to give you experience for catching a Pokemon. I'm sorry that I'm like skipping through the dialogue things so fast I tend to do that. Um, bum, bum, bum. Can I get my flare? Ah, oh, yeah, these are accessories. <laughs> An uncopyrighted version of the Red Cross. <laughs> very subtle. You can't use the Red Cross. It's, uh, they're very picky about that. <laughs> Battle paints. Oh, it actually applies it to your uh, character. That's cute. Fierce battle paint worn in the north. Those legs. <laughs> Bad everything, just a regular box. Increases the strength and buff skills used, huh? <laughs> He's beautiful. He's from Battle Block Theater now. Bucky pants, kids. Alright, I'll mess with that later. Uh, can I learn things? Barely. Uh... I like me the poison ones, yes. Give me the poisons. Oh, we got maps! Oh, I love a nice- I love me a nice map. Oh, you can like mark the map too! Oh, that is cool! That's something that, um... Man, so few games let you do that. Um, that's really cool. Like I said, I love the, the user experience stuff that uh, got worked on here. Oh, we got... Oh, this is advanced level... Um, get out of here. Can I delete this? This is advanced level block puzzles. Oh, I don't need it. Toy. Banded blade. What do you mean, toy? Is that like the, the, the weapon type for no legs? It is, okay. I guess there's toy weapons. Fast knife. Boost the damage of water skills. <laughs> I like the dollar sign bag. That's cute. What's up, sheep? Sheep dot wave. Can I eat me some pump skins? Oh, I can! Can I eat me some turnips? That is the question. That's not turnips. Got some garlic. That's. I don't. Is that what garlic? That, those look like big old turnips, but oh well. I won't question it. I just want this treasure open. Alright, so I can catch these. What do you do with the caught ones? I guess you summon them, right? Summon. Give me your power. I think SP stands for summon points. Probably. It doesn't make sense. Which we seem to get by killing other foes. This doesn't make much sense to me. Eh, it's fine. Whoa. Huh. That was weird. I am recording at like 1080p, so I'm not really super surprised. So dry is now a status effect in addition to wet. Can I catch this, please? I wanna catch it. I also really like the, the recently used thing. That's not new to this game. But, um, it's really nice. It's just so nice to play a game that feels like it gives a shit about you. Like, a game by a developer that was like, Hey, I'm gonna make your life not suck. Isn't, isn't that just nice? To just feel like the developer wanted you to enjoy yourself. The, 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 that shouldn't be rare. Why do I have regen? Just because I'm wet? Hey, I froze it. I'm not even sure why that happened. I guess because ice, you know, hockey, ice, sure. I'll allow it. Thorny Creep. <laughs> I love these names. I love when enemies have, like, names and stuff. I, I just love collecting. Or, like, best chance of creating weapons, new techniques, and skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Gives me some real PS1, like, Wild Arms vibes, this music. This, this track here. There's a Wild Arms mobile um, game, by the way. It's not really that bad, but uh, it's like Gashapon, but not for characters. The side roads blocked by dirt. Shovels should really help. Okay, push forward and find a that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Get out of here, Mr. Tentacle Face. Nobody. Oh! Shut up, Weedle. I don't have that much loot.
<laughs> I'll let you keep 10% of our treasure. It's about 10 times taller. I'm not pleased. No. No monoliths. Matt, I told you no monoliths. I told you about those monoliths, bro. I warned you, dog. Do not do do not touch that. Get no. I swear to god, if you guys touch that monolith. Oh, it's even worse in battle. I want the caterpie. Give me the caterpie. Thank you. Do you keep the like specific face? I doubt you do. I bet somebody would like want every face though. Froze. I guess I'll just take this one out. Oh whoa, you have a lot of HP. A thousand HP? It was almost slow. Poor no legs. I'm just gonna wuss out and use this. Wow, not even a KO. How do you cut through people with this? It seems like cutting through somebody with a hockey stick would actually hurt more than doing so with a sword. This probably isn't close enough. Nope. Ow. Why am I being hit? 